here. This is stick up. I'm doing business with you. Oh, sorry. He robbed the bank! I didn't talk to you, I can't believe I did that. Look at all that money. That was easy. I've never seen you here before. You must be new in town. Well, kinda. I've been here about a month or so, just trying to get settled in. Great. You and the family? <laughs> no, just me. Just little old me. Really? I'm Isabella, by the way. Well, hi, Isabella. It's nice to meet you. I'm Becky. Becky, if you don't mind me asking, how are you making it here all alone with no family, husband, or anything? I don't mind you asking. You see, I've been saving all my life to move away from Sawashi. Now, why would you want to do something like that? Well, I was actually born here in Vernon, but my pa took a job when I was just a baby, so we moved to Sawashi. Well, won't your folks worry about you? Well, my ma left a few years back, and my pa, he's always working. Plus, nothing ever happens in Sawashi. Oh, sorry to hear about your folks, but honey, nothing ever happens here in Vernon either. Well, I have seen a few cute boys around. Yeah, we have a few of those around here. Oh. Pardon me. Can you tell me where I can find Marshal Shadow McCoy? I ain't never seen a lady marshal before. Deputy, up here. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never seen a lady marshal before. Well, now you have. So, can you tell me where I can find Marshal McCoy? Sure, he's just around the corner at the marshal at his office. Thanks. Much obliged. My pleasure, ma'am. Howdy, Lucian. Howdy, Marshal. Miss Bessie.
Marshall McCoy. Marshall Shadow McCoy? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I was, uh, never mind. What can I do for you? You can get up, get your horse, and come with me. <laughs> Why in tarnations would I do something like that? To help me catch a bank robber. Oh, yeah, I don't do that anymore. Sorry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Marshal Nola Stone from over in Monroe, and I've been assigned to bring him in. Oh, you're the one. The first Lady Marshal of the Southern Territory. The first female Marshal ever. And I'm no lady. I'm assuming you've heard about the recent bank robberies? Yeah, what about them? Young kid named Travis Clayton. Robbed about four banks already. Has he hurt anybody yet? No, not yet. Well, it's just a matter of time. They always do, sooner or later. Not if we catch him first. <laughs> Good luck with that. Like I said, I don't do that anymore. I'm semi-retired, and I'm just keeping the law here in Bigby. Look, they said to find you because you're the best. Was the best. Like I said, I don't do that anymore. They said you specialize in tracking and capturing bank robbers. And there wasn't a single one you didn't bring to justice, one way or another. Well, that was my job. I did what I had to do. Look, I need your help. Help from the best. Please. Maybe one last hurrah? Well, I don't know if Grace will let me. Grace, your dog? My wife is Grace. My dog is Bo. You want me to talk to her? No, I better do it. So, you're gonna help me? Well, if Grace don't kill me first. Thanks. I really mean it. Thank you, Marshal McCoy. Well, just meet me back here in about an hour. What have I got myself into now? Well, Greenwood, I'm gonna be gone for a few days, so you're gonna be in charge around here. She talked you into it. I knew she would. Talked me into what? Anything. You know how they are. How they are? Who? Women. <laughs> you know how they are. So does Miss Grace know yet? No, I hadn't told her yet. You mean you haven't asked her yet? <laughs> you're right, Greenwood. Miss Grace is gonna kill you. Well, if she does, you'll be in charge around here all the time. <laughs> no. I don't want that job. Why not? Too many women around this town. Well, I don't see that being a bad thing. Maybe not for you. <laughs> Come on, help me get some supplies ready. Beautiful flowers for my beautiful flower. Shadow McCoy, you did not get those out of my garden. No, ma'am. I got these for you. Well, what'd you do? What do you mean? You never bring me flowers unless you've done something or you want something. Now, Grace. So, if you haven't done anything, what do you want? Uh, there's another marshal needs my help. 
Simpson over in Board Town, he can't do anything by himself, can he? No, it's not Simpson this time. It's uh, Marshall Stone from over in Monroe. Hmm. Marshall Stone? Stone. Where do I know that name? Is that that lady, Marshall? Yeah, that's her. What does she need help with? Bank robbery, young kid, she can't find him. Mm, your specialty. Yeah. So, what do you say, Grace? Can I go? What if I say no? <laughs> I guess I'll stay right here. Of course you can go. You're the best. You know I trust you. Yeah. But. But, but what? Only under one condition. And what's that? That you come back to me, alive. That's a promise. Your amazing grace. Travis Clayton, bank robber. Two hundred. This one's mine. What you got there, Scarber? Oh, nothing, Deputy Jones. Nothing at all. Well, listen here, Scarber. Everybody knows who you are and what you do. You're a bounty hunter. All you do is get in the way of the law trying to do their job. Well, if the law did their job, I wouldn't have to do mine. We do our best, Scarber. So why didn't you just become a lawman? Well, I did think about it. So why didn't you? I don't always do things by the law. I know. But someday, that's going to get you in trouble with the law. Or dead. Well, until that day comes, I have work to do. Watch yourself, Scarber. Hey, Becky, how's it going? Hello. Hey, Isabella. Are you okay? Yeah, do you know that guy over there? What guy? Over there. Where? Don't look, don't look. Well, I can't see it if I don't look. He's fine. He, he's coming. I'll talk to you later. Oh, uh, okay. See you later. Play nice now. Howdy. Hi. Nice day, Anna. Real nice. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. I saw you the other day here in town. Oh, I think I saw you too. Name's Travis. Travis. Nice name. Well, don't tell anybody, but I'm not really that nice. Really? You seem nice to me. No. I'm a bad boy. What makes you such a bad boy? Promise I was tell? Sure. No, really. You gotta promise me. Okay, sure. I promise. I rob banks. Yeah, right. You rob yeah, banks? I do. Haven't you heard about the bank robberies recently? Yeah, but... But what? I mean, I just figured it was some bad outlaw. Not a young boy. I'm not a young boy. I'm 22. And by the way, you never told me your name. Well, I don't know if I want to tell you my name since you're such a bad boy. Well, guess I'll just leave then. Wait. Becky. Nice to meet you, Becky. So, how many banks you robbed? About four or five. Four or five, huh? You ever killed anyone? No, I've never had to. Everybody's always scared. I can't believe how easy it is. But ain't the law looking for you? Yeah. But I don't think they're looking too good. Wow, you're on a wanted poster? Two hundred dollars? So, Vicky. What you doing later?
So, I notice you don't wear a gun. Well, I've got one, though. So where to first? Well, we start at the beginning. But he's going in the other direction. Well, you always start in the beginning. But... No buts. You wouldn't start reading a novel in the middle, would you? No, but then we'll have to go to Sawashi. Well, do you have a problem going to Sawashi? No. No, I guess not. So, Stone, how did you become a marshal? Huh? You can call me Nola. You can say it's in my blood. My father was a marshal, and my brother was the sheriff in Monroe for many years. I learned a lot from them. What was their name? My father was Johnny Langford, and my brother was Sean. Oh, good man. You knew them? I met them a couple times. Whatever happened to them? They were gunned down in the street by the Kidman brothers. Oh, the Kidman brothers. Billy and Teddy? I haven't heard much about them guys lately. I wonder whatever happened to them. I killed them. So they made you a marshal for bringing in the Kidmans? Something like that. So, let me ask you a question. Sure, what do you want to know? Shadow. Why did they call you Shadow? Is that like your real name? No, but they started calling me that because I was always right behind the outlaws. You know, kind of like their Shadow. So what's your real name? Uh, you can call me Shadow, everybody does. But I want to know. <laughs> well, hello, dear strangers. Would you happen to have a coin or two so that I could quench my thirst? Maybe later, friend. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you. Have a nice day. You ready, Becky? I don't know, Travis. Something don't feel right. Everything's gonna be fine. All you gotta do, stand by the door. I'll get the money. Ready? All right, everybody. This is Stick Up. Show me your hands. Put the money in the bag. Nobody's here. Nice doing business with you. Friend. Thanks on me tonight. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nobody robs my bank. Mr. Davis! Mr. Davis! <gasps> Mr. Davis! Mr. Davis!
happen? You said no one would get hurt. I, I, I don't. I don't know, Becky. Look, I, he, no one's ever tried to stop me before. He shot at me, and I. I, I just shot back. I. I it just happened. I don't know. Well, what are we gonna do now? Look, we're in a church. Maybe we should pray about it. Okay. All right. Look. It's gonna be all right. Okay. You pray about it. But I gotta go get the horses. Okay. Change much? No, not at all. Still the same old place. We need to find the sheriff and let him know what we're doing here. It's up there on the right. What? Why are all these people looking at you? Good Lord, what are they doing here? She's in town, right? I can't believe that. Yeah, she's come back. Why did she come back? Well, she came to see what everybody was doing so she could mm -hmm. spread the gossip. Yeah. That's so what she, she does. Sure. I'm Marshal Shadow McCoy over in Bigby. Pleasure, Marshal. I'm Sheriff Dalton Stone. Stone? Uh, 
this is a uh, Marshall Nola stone. Hello, Dalton. Hello, Nola. Uh, I take it y'all know each other. You could say, say that. that. Well, uh, let's get back to business. Um, understand Travis Clayton robbed his first bank here in Sawashi. Yeah, and he's from here. I heard he's robbed a few more since then. Yeah, but thank goodness Nola says he hasn't hurt anybody yet. It's just a matter of time. That's what I said. Great minds think alike. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff, I have... Miss Stone, you're back! <laughs> It's so good to see you. Uh, so, How are you? Uh, I'm doing great, Miss Stone. Oh, well, look here. I'm a deputy now. I see that. I am so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Stone. My ma is too. I'll bet she is. Order. Is that for me? Oh, yes, sir. It's a telegraph from Mary Hewlett and Quinn. Oh, no. What is it? The bank was robbed in Quinn. The banker, Mr. Davis, was shot and killed. Now it's bank robbery and murder. Wait, there's more. It seems like Travis has a female partner now. Female partner? In all my years of marshalling, I ain't never heard of a female partner. Whew. Well, let's go get something to eat and wash this dust down. Sure, thank you, sir. You coming, Nola? You go ahead. I'll catch up. Okay. Harlan, go show Marshall McCord where he can get a bite and clean up. Now, Harlan. <laughs> okay, okay. How have you been, Dalton? I'm good, Noah. How about you? I'm good. How's Becky? Well, last time I heard from her, she was fine. Last time you heard from her? What do you mean, last time you heard from her? She left home when she turned 18. She moved over to Vernon. She was 14 when I left. Could it be four years? Yeah, it's been four years, Noah. But you did what you had to do when they gunned your father and brother down. They made you marshal. You want to take over the Monroe office. It's in your blood. I just couldn't up and leave because, well, I'm the sheriff. I'm going to go catch up with Marshal McCoy. That lady said, God forgives us. God does forgive. But the law doesn't. Thank you, please. You're welcome, sir. When am I going to get out of here? Will you sober up? Thank you, Sheriff. Well, you got a horse, stable. Of 
Sheriff, my name's Scarborough. Mr. Scarborough, what can I do for you? No mister, just Scarborough. Okay, Scarborough. I'm looking for Travis Clayton. I hear he's from these parts. Yeah, that's right, mister. Scarborough. May I ask why you're looking for him? Well, you see, I'm a bounty hunter. Clayton's bounty just went up to 500 since he killed that banker in Quinn. And I just learned he has a lady friend with him. Her bounty's 200. I'm gonna be collecting those bounties. A bounty hunter, really? Yes, sir. Well, you ain't the only one that's been looking for him today. Oh, yeah, who else? Marshal Shadow McCoy. <laughs> McCoy? That old geezer? I thought he was retired. Nope, he's alive and well, and he's looking for Clayton, too. <laughs> well, he better stay out of my way, or he'll be retiring permanently. I'll be sure to tell him, man. You do that? You gonna tell me anything about Clayton? No, I don't know much about him. Plus, if I did, I don't believe I'd tell you. I'll just find him on myself, then. You do that, and I'll be sure to tell McCoy you said hi. Travis? Is that you? Oh, Jay. JW. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, big brother. Oh. Travis, what are you doing here? Well, um, we need a place to hide. Uh, something bad happened. This is Becky. Hi, Becky. So what happened? I heard you were robbing banks. Well, uh, we were, and everything was fine, and but we went up to Quinn to rob the bank there, and uh, our banker tried to gun, tried to gun us down. And I, I don't really remember what happened. I just turned and I shot. He's dead. I, I, Jay, I, I didn't mean for that. To, I would never do something like that. I, I don't know what. Help. I, I know, little brother. I know. Look, you and Becky can stay here as long as you need to. I'll get some blankets and things, and, and y'all can stay out in the barn. Thank you, Jay. Thank you. Bounty hunter stopped by today. He said for you to stay out of his way or else. Must have been Scarborough. Yeah. You know him? Yeah, he's a scumbag. He's been by my office a few times with some bounties. He don't care if they're dead or alive. Yeah, he seemed like a scumbag. There's the Clayton farm. Marshall McCoy, and I believe you remember Noah. Howdy. Clyde T., you and the kids are looking good. Thank you. Mrs. Stone, nice to see you again. You too, Clyde T. This is Marshall McCoy. Ma'am, what y'all coming up here for? Now, Shields, you know your boy Travis has done some bad things. We need to find him. Well, he ain't here. I ain't seen him in a few weeks. He up and left one day. I haven't seen him since. Looks like you got a few more head of cattle. Where'd you get the money? You must know. Sold a few things. That's how I got them. Okay. Well, if you say Travis, will you let me know? Probably not. He is still my boy after all. Okay. Well, I'll see how it is. Y'all have a nice day.
Excuse me, sir. My name is Scar, bro. Uh, I'm a friend of your son, Travis. So to meet up with them, you have to know where I can find them. You a bank robber too? <laughs> oh no, no, sir. Uh, just a friend of his. Uh, just trying to help him out. You have to know where I can find them. Like I told the sheriff and the marshal, I haven't seen him in weeks. What about you, Miss Clayton? You know where Travis is? She ain't is? seen nothing. I think you need to leave. Listen, I really need to find him before they do. I think you need to leave now. <laughs> okay. All right, now there's no need for violence, ma'am. Travis, y'all okay? Yeah, we'll be fine. No, Travis, we won't be fine. Yeah, we will, we will, Becky. Look, I was thinking, we could go up north. Nobody knows us up there. Yeah, that's a good idea. No, no it's not. They'll find us, I know they will. Well, if we keep moving around, I think I know where Travis might be. Where? In Vernon, at JW's, his older brother. Older brother? Miss Clayton, you don't look old enough to have a son older than Travis. JW ain't my son. Neither is Travis. I'm the second Mrs. Clayton. JW was older, but Travis was small, so Shields and I raised him. I see. So what makes you think he's there? I just do. He always said one day he'd go to Vernon and find JW. Why are you telling us this? Well, he's doing wrong. I love him, but this has got to stop. Anyway, just thought I'd tell you what I thought. Come on, children. It's time to get back. Please don't let Shields find out I told you. I never know. I promise. So I guess we're going to Vernon. Yes, sir. Let's stop in Quinn first. I got some questions for the mayor. If you can find a time, you might want to look up Becky while you're there. Becky, our daughter. Our daughter. Oh. Are you going with us, Dalton? No, y'all go ahead. I'll catch up later. Thank you, sure. Ready, McCoy? Ready.
been a while. How you doing? I'm not bad. How about you? Good. You're doing, how you, uh, Mayor Hewlett. Mayor, just the man we've been looking for. The legendary Marshal McCoy? Yep, that's him. And I used to be his deputy. Is that right? Well, Marshal, if you can vouch for him, he could be the next sheriff of Quinn. Well, you couldn't ask for a better man, Your Honor. Is that right? Well, Logan, in that case, welcome to Quinn. Sheriff? Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You're sir. welcome, son. Hey, I want to introduce you all to the First Lady Marshal, Nola Stone. Nola? Heard a lot about you. Pleasure. Stone? Ken the Sheriff Stone over in Sawashi? You could say that. Hey, Marshals! Would either of you like to buy me a drink? Maybe later, sir. Mayor, could we talk to you a minute about the bank robbery? Yes. And the death of our beloved Mr. Davis. I knew it was going to happen when we didn't have a sheriff. Well, you got a great one now. So, Mayor, do you know about the girl? No, not a thing. Nobody saw her face. I saw her face. Oh, hush, Rufus. You probably saw two of them. So drunk. Wait, Rufus, tell us what you saw. Think real hard. Well, I was outside the bank. And then this boy came running and he gave me a bunch of coins and I bought a whole bottle. And then, and then Mr. Davis came running out and he was yelling something and then he just shot at him. Wait, the banker shot at them first. Uh-huh, he did. And then, and then, Miss, and then the boy turned around and he shot Mr. Davis and killed him dead. Is there anything else? Um. Think hard. Uh. The, the, the girl was standing there and she pulled her bandana down and and, and, that's, and she just kind of stood there. So you saw her. What did she look like? Oh, she was beautiful. She had golden hair and a face like an angel. Well, that doesn't help much. Is there anything else, Rufus? Well, I did I didn't hear him call her name. Okay, think real hard. What was her name, Rufus? Her name was Be Betty. It was Betty. I'm sure it was Betty. Yes. Okay. Wait a minute. No, no. It was Becky. Becky. I'm sure it was Becky. No, no, Becky. no. Not my Becky. We need to get to Vernon now. Shout out if you need any help. Just let me know. Sure will. And congratulations. Thank you. Hey, here. Marshal. Thank you both. Marshal. Tell Miss Grace I said hi. I will, son. Thank you. Let's go. Travis, I'm heading into town. Y'all need anything? No, I think we're good. We're getting ready to head up north, so thank you for putting up with us for the past few days. No problem, little brother. Y'all be safe. Oh, stay out of banks. We will. Thank you, JW. Travis, I'm thinking about turning myself in. What? No, Becky. You can't. You can't turn yourself in. No. Uh, no. All right. Look. I know I, I ain't done a good job of it. But you gotta, you gotta give me a chance, okay? I love you, Becky. I thought I loved you too, but I can't live like this. Well, if that's, if that's what you want, they'll take it easy on you, but I killed a man, so they'll hang me. So what's up with you and the Jones boy? Like I said, he was my deputy a few years back. 
Well, it's none of my business, but it seems like there's more than that to it. <laughs> You're right. It's none of your business. Looks like we're coming into Vernon. Do you know where the J.W. Clayton place is? About a mile, a mile that way, can't miss it. Well, Nola, what now? Where do we go from here? I have to go back to Monroe. You don't have to. You know you could stay here with me. Dalton, I can't. I have a job. And... It's in your blood. I know. Well, you know where I am if you ever need me. Yes, I do. So you and McCoy, huh? What? No. He was just helping me with the case. Sure, Stone. Sorry. Things turned out the way they did with your daughter and all. Thank you, Marsh. It'd be an honor if you call me Dalton. Okay, Dalton. And thank you for saving my life. And it would be an honor if you call me Shadow. My pleasure, Shadow. Sorry about your daughter, Nola. Thanks, Shadow. Roy. What? My real name. Roy. Roy. Yeah. <laughs> your real name is Roy McCoy. <laughs> well, don't tell anybody.
I knew you'd be back. I made a promise. So, did you get him? Yeah. It's a long story. I'll tell you about it later. Okay. I'm just tired right now. I understand. By the way, I ran into Logan Jones. Oh, he's a good kid. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's a new sheriff over in Quinn. Oh, good for him. He still doesn't know he's your son? No. It's probably better that way. Well, Dallas raised him. Well, he might find out one day. Maybe. I love you, Grace. I love you too, Roy. So drag you down In her eyes he could do no wrong Got caught up by the way he came along Now she's out of her she be so blind and not see the signs Two kids on their own Living day by day Running from the law and getting by As long as they get Two 
kids on their own, living day by day. Running from the law and getting by as long as they get paid. If things go wrong, they could end up six feet in the ground. I was looking at you, it could also drag you down.